Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. So today we'll be discussing about the members module in Odoo 60. So membership is something which a business organization or any small firms provide to the customers. So this is introduced to the customers to maintain a relationship between them. And managing all these members and all is a very hard task. And to simplify all these difficult tasks, Odoo is providing the module which is called as the members module. So members module makes it easy to manage all uh, activities related to the member. So let's see what all things Odoo 16 provides in the members module. Okay, so for that let's go to the members module and see it in detail. So I'm opening the members module here. You can see I'm opening it. And here we can see all the members which are created. So currently we have a single member here. Before creating a member we have to create a membership product. So for that go to the configuration. And under the configuration, you have a menu called the membership products. Click on that and click on the create button. Okay, now we are creating a membership product. So it's similar to creating a product itself. And here we have to specify the name of the product. So I have given the name as preliminary membership. And here you have the option to put the internal reference. Now it's not compulsory. If you want, you can give a reference to this product. And if you don't specify any product category, by default, it will take the category all. If you want to specify any category, just click on that field. You have the uh, drop down there. From there, you can choose it. Next, we have the company. Similarly, if you want, you can choose company. Otherwise, just leave it. And here is the option to make your product active. So our product is active right now. And if you want to uh, make your product visible on the website, just check the checkbox given. Okay, and here you have the option to give the sequence, sequence of the product inside the website. Okay, and on the other side, we have the membership duration. That is, we have to specify a duration. That is the start date to the end date. Here, we are giving a date as start date and I'm giving another date as the end date. Okay, so this is the duration of the product. And here, we have the membership fee. So here, I'm giving 100 as membership fee. Yeah, you have to specify the income account as well. So I'm choosing other income and here comes a tax. So if you want, you can keep the tax as such or else just remove it. Next, we have the description. So we are giving a description for the product. If you want to give a description, you can specify that here. And here we have the sales description. So whatever description you give under the sales description, this will be shown inside the invoice and also the sale order and all. Now let's give us, this is a new, product or something okay now that the product is created I'm saving it just click on save manually after that let's go back to the members and create a new member so for that I went to the members menu and clicking on the create button here now here comes the member creation form this is similar to the form which we saw uh, while creating a vendor or a customer and all okay so a member can either be an individual or a company so I'm creating a member here giving it as Brandon and I'm choosing a company to which this individual belongs to so I'll put um, Deco edit anything you can choose anything and here I'm putting the uh, job position of this uh, member so I'm giving it as sales director and you can specify all his details like phone number mobile email website and title title is nothing but how you are going to address that person so it can be anything like doctor professor mister and all so here we have missed I'm choosing that. Now here if you want to add any tags, tags are basically for easy identification. If you want to add tags, you can do that from here. So I'll put employee or something. And below this we have the contacts and addresses. Now here you can add contacts corresponding to this particular member. So you can, uh, you can add multiple addresses. So just click on add. You have these much options to add the addresses and all. So I'm just randomly adding one saving it and closing it so here you can see one address is added if you want to add one more just click on add choose the kind of address you are putting in and then save it and close it next we have the sales and purchase tab click on that here you have the option to provide the details about sales purchase then inventory miscellaneous data then we have the fiscal information and also the point of sale information you can supply all the details you want Okay, so here we'll provide a salesperson. So I'm giving Michelle admin and also a team that is a sales team. So 
so putting sales there you have the option to put the payment terms so here I'm giving 45 days or something similarly you have the payment terms in purchase okay and you have the 1099 box from which you can choose and also the payment method can be done or you know uh, chosen from the purchase tab here we have the receipt reminder okay you know what a receipt reminder is right it keeps you reminding okay and you have the supplier currency so I'm choosing a currency it's not necessary that you have to choose one so I'm choosing one and here you can see price lists are managed on the parent company this it is shown as such because this person belongs to a company and that company has a price list so we don't need to mention one for this individual and then we have the point of sale section where we can provide the barcode here we have the option to give the fiscal position and then inside the inventory you have the customer vendor locations and also inside the miscellaneous you have the option to give the reference company website SLA policies and also website tags so we need not go in detail of all these products next we have to go to the accounting section now inside the accounting uh, you can see this is also uh, you know connected to the parent company so accounting also we need not mention it because the company already have the details now in the internal notes if you have any notes you can give it here and also warnings are set inside the internal notes that is why choosing this member if you want a warning to pop up you can set it on this tab okay you have warning on sale order and also warning on picking you can set whatever you want inside next we have the partner assignment where they takes the geo location according to your address and you have the partner review here the partner activation part here and inside the partner review you can add the dates of the latest partner review the next partner review and also the partnership date similarly we have the partner activation where you can set the partner level like we have different levels like gold bronze silver and all that level can be chosen here commission plan activation level weights and all can be given here okay so next is the important part which is the membership tab so i'm opening it now by default odo takes every member as free member so our thing which we are going to do is not free member we have created a membership product right so i'm just unchecking this checkbox and here you can see that free member has changed to buy membership so i'm going to buy a membership click on buy membership here so a wizard pops up here you can see the products which we created so preliminary membership is the uh, product which we created right now so i'm clicking on that and the member prices are automatically uh, you know filled in there clicking on invoice membership next thing which we have to do is invoice it so this is the invoice which is currently in draft state okay confirm it okay so here we have to give the analytic distribution so add a line click on add a line here and choose one okay next confirm it you can see the details in the order lines right next thing we have to do is register the payment this is similar to uh, the invoices which you have seen in sale order purchase order and all so just register the payment now here we have the payment section click on create payment okay now that the payment is done you can see the ribbon has come which says in payment now let's go back to the member and open the membership tab so here you can see the, the membership which we purchased right now has come here right the name of the product the membership fee and the invoice reference has come here so currently he is a paid member so this is how you set a membership i mean or you create a member uh, buy membership for him and all okay so that's the main part of this members module and we have one more menu which is the reporting now inside the reporting you have the member analysis okay so as you all know inside reporting we have the bar chart line chart and pie chart now inside the line chart and bar chart you have the option to sort it accordingly like ascending order or descending order you can do that and inside the line chart also you have the ascending as well as descending order now it's filtered i'm removing the filters okay and here we have the pie chart so here we also have pivot view okay so pivot view is nothing but a table like view and here we have the filter option where we can filter based on forecast and revenue done start date add customer and all 
and here we have the group by option also the favorites option okay and so under favorite as you all know there is a new menu i mean a new list which is nothing but insert view in article and also insert link in article so you know what an article is so we have uh, already known about the new module introduced in odoo 16 which is the knowledge module so this is related to that module so if you want to link this menu in that article or link this i mean insert this link in that article you can do it easily from here okay so here you have measures also okay let's go back to the graph view here also you can see an option to insert it in spreadsheet and also view it based on measures okay so these are the main things which comes under the members module okay this is pretty much easier to handle so i hope it's clear that's all that's all for today's video i hope it was helpful thank you so much for watching and if you guys have any suggestions or you want topic on any specific video please comment them below thank you